I recently saw a patient from Poole in Dorset who came to see me after a deep vein thrombosis, wondering whether he needed any tests. Well, he was in his 60s, so I, I had some unpalatable uh, news for him. As his deep vein thrombosis was unprovoked, he should have tests to check that he doesn't have cancer. So what exactly do I mean by unprovoked? Well, this is a deep vein thrombosis that comes apparently out of the blue. That means that in the preceding three months before the development of the deep vein thrombosis, there's been no evidence of major surgery, major trauma, uh, there's been no um, immobility, so the person hasn't been bedridden or spent a significant part of the day either in bed or in a chair. The person is not pregnant and the person is not taking hormone replacement therapy or the oral contraceptive pill. Now, if a deep vein thrombosis is unprovoked and the person is under 40, then they should have as a bare minimum, a full examination, a chest x-ray, some screening blood tests, and their urine should be analysed. Now, if the person is over the age of 40 and has an unprovoked deep vein thrombosis, then they should be fully investigated for cancer. And that means a mammogram in a woman, and in both men and women, um, a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis. Now, I don't want to cause alarm, but approximately 10% of people who have an unprovoked deep vein thrombosis uh, then find that they have a cancer within the next 12 months. Now, they probably had the cancer. It's only just become apparent with time. And we know that if you diagnose cancer early, you get better results. So, screening people with an unprovoked deep vein thrombosis gives a really good opportunity to diagnose a cancer at an early stage when it might well be treatable and perhaps be life-saving. So, please don't be alarmed, but if you have had a deep vein thrombosis, which has apparently come out of the blue, you ought to see your doctor. If you're over the age of 40, I think now it's probably best if you're referred uh, to a haematologist in a hospital. Um, he's a specialist who can assess your risks and perform the appropriate um, investigations. Now, I'm going to put a link in the uh, box below to the NICE guidance on this matter, which came out a year ago, and I hope you find it uh, useful. Now, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, do please remember to click the box above. Uh, that way you'll subscribe and you'll be amongst the first to see my next video. I'd really like to hear from you, so if you'd like to leave a comment in the box below, uh, please do so. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching my video.